Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. There are not many world-class universities that don't have their own business school these days, but it wasn't until August this year that University College London, one of the UK's elite universities, launched its own School of Management. As a former professor of London Business School, Dean Bert Derek knows all too well what it's like to operate in the highly competitive London market. So, Professor Derek, is this too little too late? It is definitely not too little too late, but I can see where you're coming from with that question. Uh, when I was approached actually by the president of UCL at the time, about eight years, eight years ago, to, with the idea of setting up a management school at UCL, my reaction was a little bit similar, like, don't you ha already have one and mm -hmm. why not? Because, I mean, UCL has all the ingredients for a top management school. It has world-leading departments in economics, in psychology, in engineering, in statistics. Uh, so it seems only logical for UCL to have a leading management school too. So that was exactly my reaction. Right. So it is maybe a little late, but not too late. Okay, so what, what, you're going to be competing with London Business School, with Imperial College, with um, LSE. I mean, why, why are you different from these institutions? Yes, I mean, we are different. In, we are somewhat the same and we are somewhat different. We have some of the advantages that the others also have. For instance, with London Business School, we share the London advantage, the London location, which is going to be a big factor in, in, in the success of our school. Uh, with Oxford and Cambridge, we share the advantage that we're backed by a world-leading uh, university with excellent fields of research in many, many areas. So in these, sense, in these senses, we are actually similar but combining the best of both. But we will be different. Um, as a new school, obviously, uh, differentiating ourselves will be important. And the way we will do that is to focus on areas that are today, in, in today's business, very important, which is innovation, technology, entrepreneurship, data analytics. So we will focus on those areas and not on the areas that other business schools tend to still focus on, which is finance and leadership. So. Okay, so I mean, over the past decade or so, we've seen a record number of students come to London to study at business school. Mm -hmm. um, is, this to, is this going to continue, um, given the visa issue, given the economic problems in China? Are we still going to see these um, students, or are you going to be competing head-on with these other business schools? Um, Yes, we will be competing head-on, but over the last several years we have not seen any decline in applications from countries, for instance, like China or India. In, in, instead, they're actually still going up quite dramatically. Um, for instance, our Masters of Management program last year, we had almost 3,000 applications for 150 places. So we can select the very best students, and those application numbers are still going up. In the long run, obviously, when countries like China will develop their own MBA uh, schools and systems, maybe their best students will decide to stay there and not apply to the best schools in Europe and the US. But at the moment, we still see an increase in application numbers. So do you see other uh, universities setting up in London? I mean, I'm thinking of perhaps regional UK universities or top international universities. I mean, I'm thinking of something like Chicago Booth, which now is a London campus. I mean, is, is the market going to become more and more competitive here? And is that a good thing? Yes, I think the market will become more competitive, and I think it is a good thing. I think we can um, share a, a big pie that is still out there. Um, but there's a difference, of course, between schools that are setting up a small office here or an executive MBA uh, program here compared to a school who is completely, fundamentally based in London. Our school will actually be in the centre of London and mainly in Canary Wharf. So all of our activities, including our research, will actually be done right here in London. Yeah, so and other impl implications of this for the less prestigious, perhaps regional uh, universities? Because I think when we saw, let's say, 20 years ago when Oxford and Cambridge um, set up, there was a, a real shift in the power in business education in the UK. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see that again, do you think, with more emphasis on London rather than the regions? I, I think so, yes. And, and, and we hopefully will play a part in that shift. So uh, the UK business school scene has always been dominated by one particular school very close by. But uh, when Oxford and Cambridge came onto the scene, they shook it up quite a bit. And I think UCL will be able to do the same thing. So that's, that's our plan. Yeah. Professor Drake, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For more interviews with business school deans, go to ft.com forward slash business education.